What is good YouTube, JB here, and this is going to be episode 11 of my How to Make Easy Coin series for NCAA Ultimate Team. Pretty much a series where I show you guys how to make coins so you don't have to spend money on packs. In this video, I have the new collection method for you guys. Very, very easy to do. doesn't even require much work. And as many of you know, there's some new collections out. And if you didn't know, go check them out because there are some new ones out. And so what you got to do is, and this is something that worked very well in Madden Ultimate Team. I used to do this all the time. Easiest way to make coins. Uh, all you got to do is check out who's necessary for the new collections. And especially if you open a lot of packs, this is going to benefit at you because if you opened a lot of packs you just want to write down who's necessary for the collections then go back to your reserves and check your reserves and see if any of these guys are sitting in your reserves that you aren't planning on using especially if you aren't planning on finishing these collections you need to just stick these guys up on the auction because as soon as they're necessary to fulfill a collection their price instantly goes up so I'm going to show you an example of Matt Barkley and the reason I'm using him is because I'm actually going to do a mini price fix so that's like the second part of this video but pretty much my tip was to, to check out the new collections and make sure uh, some of these guys aren't sitting in your reserves because if they are you want to put them up on auction right away it's going to be an easy way to make some easy coins that you wouldn't have been able to do if they weren't in that collection so here you see there's only two Matt Barkley's up and his price is 3500 coins and 5000 normally they would probably never be that high but I'm gonna go ahead and buy these guys because I'm gonna do a little mini price fix this is very risky to do but there's only two of them up so you know in the long run if I if I lose maybe a thousand coins each on on the player I'm not I'm not really worried I'm I'm more looking at the potential and the profit I can make so I bought both of them one for 3500 coins one for 5000 coins there's only two up on the market so if somebody really wants to finish the QB collection because he's necessary to do the new quarterback collection I'm gonna raise the price is up. I'm going to make you guys pay a little bit more. It's kind of a mean thing to do, but it's a good way to make some coins. So I'm going to list one up for about 10,000 by now for five hours, and somebody might buy that one. And then the only other one I have, I'm going to list it up for an extremely ridiculous price. And the reason I'm going to do that is because it, it makes uh, this one seem, you know, it makes this one, the first one I put up, seem like it's a good deal. And this one, the second one I'm going to put is like, oh, I don't think anyone's going to want it, but you never know. Someone crazy might always get it, so that's another good reason to put it up for a ridiculous price. So I'm going to put this one for 30000 by now. I really doubt this one sells, but I, I think the first one will, and if the first one does sell, I already have made profit from buying the two cards. A little bit risky, but it's a mini price fix. Um, something that you guys might want to do, There's it's always a good idea to try to flip some of these guys are are necessary for the new collection but for this video just for this video's purposes my recommendation to make some coins especially if you've opened a lot of packs go in your clubs in your reserves sorry they call it clubs in FIFA go in your reserves uh, check check all the players out and make sure they don't fit any of these collections and you know if you have some guys that fit the collections put them up because their prices are uh, increasing right now because people want to finish collections that's some people just have a hobby of that's what they like to do on auction team which is cool it's no problem you know uh, personally I don't think the rewards are worth it that's what I've been hearing and so this collection these collections aren't necessarily worth doing for me but later on in the year there probably will be but anyways there's still gonna be people who want to finish these so as always guys hope you guys did enjoy this video let me know if you guys were able to find any of these guys in your reserves if you guys do stuff like this what you guys think about my crazy price fix uh, I'll, I'll let you guys know how that worked uh, you know if if things don't go good at least I'll probably make some a little bit of loss but if things go very well I can then make a lot of profit so as always guys hope you guys did enjoy this video I'll bring out the part two of the investment method investment method out soon but hope you guys did enjoy take care everyone drop a like sub if you haven't and peace